Hello guys and what is up this is Silence Pew Pew and we are coming at you with another video. Today guys we're going to be playing Ostrov again. Uh, as many of you uh, may know, people who are probably watching this, uh, Alpha 3 just released. Uh, I've played Alpha 1, uh, a couple of the, the patches anyways, and I've played Alpha 2. Uh, I've done some videos on both of those, so if you want to see how the game looked uh, basically a year and a half ago, um, you can go check out those videos versus now. Uh, I haven't actually played Alpha 3 at all, so I'm not sure exactly what the changes uh, are. I've just seen some of the, read some of the stuff, and looked at the, the new tr uh, trailer, which go check out the trailer, it's pretty cool. Um, so we are going to choose a new our new game here. Um, so I assume these are based off level uh, levels of difficulty. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and go with uh, level four here, though not uh, just because I want it to be easier. Um, maybe level six action. Uh, you know what? Now nah, we're just. I'm just trying to plan out in my head where I want to put things so I can... Because, like, putting your camp anywhere, I guess the best place would be, like, around here, so that way there's trees nearby. But I think over here on this map would be better, because there's plenty of trees. You could build a couple log mines, or log things up in here. And you could get some bridges going across almost right away. Get on an island, that'd be pretty cool. We'll go with the level four though. We're just gonna go with the very first one here. Okay, so one of the first things now, um, and this was in Alpha 2 at one point, I don't remember exactly which one. Uh, you get to put down your camp, which I think is awesome. I think that's a, a great function that was added, um, really added to it, yeah. Thing I wish you could do though, is honestly like I'd be perfectly fine like, if I could come over here, because I think this is going to be too steep for anything. If I could just, like, hire dudes to just, like, lower this down. You know, and I'm fine with it taking a couple months or whatever, you know. Just taking this, lowering this down, and, I don't know, throwing the dirt somewhere else. That'd be the other issue, I guess, trying to figure out what's over here. What is this? There's rocks. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that was one of the updates. So I wonder if you have to get the rocks in order to actually be able to... You think your people gotta walk the whole way over there? Okay. I would have figured they were just dug down deep enough. Eventually, they'll find rock, right? Isn't that how that works? So, um, we're gonna go ahead, and I think I just, yeah, I'm just gonna start like right here. That looks like a good place for a camp. Okay. So first thing we're gonna build is a forestry. Now I have no idea. Okay, what is the space bar for pause? It's production forestry. Um, how do I rotate again? Okay, there we go. Rotating, and we'll just snug it up right in there. Okay, uh, we're not going to do anything too crazy, I don't think, this time, but we are going to go ahead and just keep that, and we're going to check out some of these things. So obviously, I still got the houses, uh, wells, platforms, cool. Okay, so we got a forester, or forestry farm, windmill, pig steed, tannery, carpenter. Charcoal pit, that was one of the ones in um, 2 as well. Smithy, lime works, lime kiln. Okay. Oh, look, they got little help buttons. What's this? Do? Oh, that's cool. When active, laborers will gather coal by layers of 3,000 and limestone by layer of 5,000. Holy cow. Then start burning in, or, in order, my bad, uh, to produce quick lime. Okay, so concrete, right? In total, there are three layers of each. Quick lime is used in lime work. Okay. To produce lime. Okay. Maybe it's not concrete lime work. Lime is a big piece in concrete, so I'm not sure what else I'd be using it for, uh, but all right. Uh, stone miner camp, okay, that's cool. Oh, there's only the find button. Okay, it doesn't tell me what this does, but I can assume that it mines stone. Uh, produ oh. Produce stone and limestone from nearby deposits. Okay, obviously, because I think, like even the tree has. Yeah, yeah, 
That's interesting, though. Uh, Taylor Weaver. Oh, yes, is there a horse? Yes, I saw that. The horse place. Okay, there's a horse place now. That's cool. I can only find as well. Obviously, I mean, some of these make sense, but um, it's interesting, though, because some of them have, like... Oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that was in there, trade and uh, transport. Okay, oh, there's the stables. Okay. So what's... Wait a minute. What was this one? produce horse tag oh okay so this makes it so I guess my horses can horse tax from leather and no parts okay so I get horse tax then okay stables I think that's the only thing that was added there yep okay government okay still just the town hall um, We'll see how this goes. Uh, the town hall is supposed to be getting a bunch of features. Uh, I'm wondering when those are going to come in. Like, they're going to add more parts than just the mayor. They're going to add, like, advisors and stuff like that. And way and more more ways to... Okay. Okay, trees and fences. I don't think any of these are new. Could be, though. No education. Still a work in progress. Health. Still a pro work in progress. And religion. Ooh, okay. Last time uh, when I played, um, there was only burial plots. There was no chapels or churches. A place of prayer and religious, or yeah, religious rituals and a place of prayer. Okay, cool. What's the what's the point of these? Allow citizens to fulfill their religious needs. Building at least one chapel is required to grow population beyond a hundred. Interesting. What about this one? Wow, beyond three hundred. Wow. So I had a couple games that got up to like four hundred and some people, and then they'd, they'd just crash um, every time that uh, it would get to winter. I don't know why. Uh, it's a couple, all my, most of my games, anyways, did that. They would get to winter and crash once I got around four hundred people, um, and those. I assumed it's just because it was too much for the game to render or something, so it's interesting that uh, this thing here says 300. I wonder if that's been fixed. Uh, so we'll see. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play this, and I mean, I, if you guys haven't, uh, I mean, just look at this. Oh, is that... A... Interesting. Nine-year-old kid. Cool. Cool. So this thing right here is one of the things that I like the most, honestly, um, about the starter set. I don't think they, they still... Oops. They still have not added the ability to move items um, or, like, recreate this campfire. I would love to be able to have a campfire. I'd be okay with, if I could make it bigger. That would be awesome, too. Um, and stuff. Like, I'm okay with getting rid of these logs because that's, uh, you know, obviously it's they're just starting out. So, of course, it's going to be like that. Um, where's my... We'll just hire everybody, get uh, as much moving out on that done as we can. So first thing you want to build is you want to get yourself a um, forestry. Uh, obviously, the game now kind of has a little bit of a tutorial. I think after this one, I don't know if there's a way you can click it. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, you want to build yourself a factory. Or there it is, a thatchery. Yep. Okay, thatchery is uh, best place down near the water because that's where they're getting all this thatch from. That's what that is for the most part. What was that? Is this rock over... Oh, there's rocks over here. That's cool. Okay. Um, so, oops. It's up to you guys on how you do this, obviously, because it's going to be your guys' little towns. But I'm going to put mine uh, kind of like this because the terrain there is going to be uneven. Dang it. Anyways, um, which one? For too uneven for a boat. But uh, I like to put mine like that, so that way they can come to work a little easier, go out, and go right to the thatch. Because if you put it facing any other way, then they gotta walk around the building. You know, it's up to you on that, obviously, when you're uh, building your own. But that's what I like it. Um, of course, I always like watching these guys just build here, hitting the wood with their little tiny hammers and stuff. It's great. So we'll see how uh, how this goes over here. There it is. Boom. 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 Oh, this guy bringing some more lumber for us. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and speed this up, though, now. Um, just, uh, just to get it moving a little bit more. Look at him go. 
speed racers over here. Moving very, very quickly. Look at all them walls. And here you can see we almost already have a full building complete. Uh, I think this game started in February. I have no idea. It could have started at the beginning of March. Um, not sure. Is this the calendar? Or is this the day, or the month of the, the day of the month, geez, thing? Not sure, I didn't notice if that was going up or not. I mean, it's going up reasonably fast, but it's going up, I still feel pretty slow. We're going to hire two people to here, um, and, oh, not that one, or fire one person from there. Hopefully, uh, this will get um, started, so that way they can start chopping down some trees. Uh, once we get some trees chopped down... Wow, this increased a lot. Before, I think you could only have like a hundred or something in there. Yep, okay. The next one's just build uh, houses before um, winter comes. So, we still have uh, a couple months left. I think winter starts December, uh, officially anyways. It might start uh, sooner than that. Um, why is nobody working? Hey, I just fired one person from here. It means there's a job opening here. No one's working it, though. Okay, we'll see if that gets fixed by speeding up a bit. No. Okay, and they need more wood. I like this, though, as you can see how far progressed they are. Can't find wood anywhere. Okay, so no idea what's going on, but I gotta fire two people now. Sorry, bros. There we go. Finally, someone took the freaking bait. Hire one spot back to there, and hopefully these guys can start uh, working on getting some wooden stuff put put out. And then, you know what? I think we're gonna put our first couple houses going down this way because the mayor's gonna be the first person to move in. So it'd be interesting. You know, I, I always think, like, it'd be cool to have you know, forest. I don't know. What would you guys... What would he think looks awesome? Or the best? Anyways, obviously something on the river. That'd be cool. But maybe way over here. That just seems so far away, honestly. I think we're going to put our first house right here. guy a little bit of a weird fence there so we'll get two of those going um you know we're gonna see if we can't get four people working here um i normally think i normally did three reason for that is because sometimes people um sometimes they leave one leaves and the other one's just stuck there at work by themselves for a while and then they leave and then the other guy comes back and he's just stuck at work for a while until this guy comes back again and then they only get you know i don't know four hours of work done or something so it's it's nice if you got three people because that kind of limits that um there still will be a little bit in the beginning and a little bit in the end but um i i think it seems like they're both going to work at the same time now nope oh yeah they're both here what am i talking about I don't know if they've both been here the whole time, but uh, either way. Um, yeah, so they have still yet to produce any wood. Oh, there we go. Just created 3,000, I guess. Not sure. Yep, this guy's taking a rest. Yep, he's going home. This guy's, yep, waiting for a partner to help get a log. That's what I figured. So we're going to fire you. Sorry. Oh, cool. Going to work. So, that is one thing that's unfortunate. Um, I wish you could kind of customize it so that way they all be working at the same time of day. Obviously, it's always bright outside, uh, except for when it's snowing. But, um, yeah. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get three women in there working. Uh, more than likely it's going to be women anyways. Just so that way we can get this thing stocked up as quickly as possible here. Um, and then we're going to get planting some more of these houses. Well, building some more of these houses. So I think the next set of people I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to build their houses like this. Oh, clay. Clay, clay, clay. I forgot about the clay. It's a good thing. Clay's pretty easy. Um, it's a weird one. Uh, it's not something that I think looks good. Um, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but obviously there's not much you can do. It's a clay pit. So it's got to go somewhere. Um, we're just going to go ahead and I think uh, just... Oopsies. Honestly, what I wish you could do is, and I, this may have been added already, so I may be speaking about this for no reason, is like build a warehouse and then just hire somebody to take all the clay out of here and put it into a warehouse and then take the dirt over here and fill back in this clay hole. <laughs> uh, that would be nice, just because uh, I don't really, I, I just, this kind of looks like an eyesore to me personally, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, so... We'll keep moving on from here. <clears throat> so I was hoping to get through this whole video, uh, and hopefully, you know, like, uh, 20 minutes or so, and it'd be a whole year. Um, but it does look like that bar up there is the month. So this may have started out in March. Uh, we should be able to easily get all these houses built. I know that they, uh, I think I had read that they were going to make, try to make it a bit easier to get there. Uh, stuff like that, so we should be able to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and place down these other houses, and uh, we're gonna, you guys are gonna time jump uh, ahead a bit. Okay, guys, so uh, here you can see we have our first uh, house built. This was our first house built, anyways. Uh, we've got a couple others built. I've got a couple in the queue here, uh, and we'll show you those here in a bit. But uh, here's our uh, our mayor. Um, you know, he works at the camp center. His wife's unemployed. Obviously, they're doing just fine. I mean, they have a lot of food, which seems crazy, um, unless they eat more this time now. Because uh, before, you know, they would eat like a whole, like maybe, like for a family of four anyways, they would eat like half a potato a month. And that was it. That was That would hold them over. So I have no idea how much this is going to last them. Um... We'll see. Uh, it'll be interesting, I think. Um, yeah, because pretty much everyone's got a lot of stuff. Oh, that's a building house. Uh, but yeah, we got three houses here built. Um, very, very nice. Uh, I was hoping, you know... I mean, personally, if this was my house and I was building it, I'd want a porch uh, like these guys got. But it's not a very big porch. But, you know, it's good enough. So this is the uh, mayor's house. Got a nice uh, view of the water here. Um... So it looks like the thatch is already maxed out. Uh, we are going to go ahead and I think we're going to put a warehouse right here. Maybe facing this way. No, we'll face it this way actually, yeah. Um, but we'll, that'll be done, you know, after all these houses are done. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. But either way, guys, uh, I'll catch you guys back up again then uh, once uh, some new stuff has been done. Okay, guys. Uh so as you can see here, uh, we have all of our nine houses built. Uh, I built a little pathway here so that way we can get to over to this side a little bit easier so I don't have to go the whole way around these houses here. Uh, added in a nice little archway here. I think that'll look pretty nice once the town's uh, fully built because this is going to be the town center here. Um, I think I'm... I don't know what I'm going to build here. But either way... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, either way, the... Uh, Town center is going to be in here somewhere. Probably going to get the blacksmith and maybe um, the carpenter place in here so we can build some wagons. Uh, going to replace this wagon shed eventually here. Uh, built a few um, market stalls and uh, also building a warehouse. Uh, and then down here we're building a dock uh, and a boatyard. Um, hopefully we might we should be able to get those two finished before uh, winter. Which is interesting, because I know before this used to be a big problem. Uh, if you didn't space your stuff out perfectly... This was in Alpha 1 anyways. If you didn't space your stuff out perfectly, if you didn't put literally everything near each other... Like, you had to put the, you had to put the thatchery, like, near 
the thatch here and you also had to put your uh, log cabin near your warehouse and you wanted everything near the warehouse because what people would do is and the carts uh, you can't move that obviously and same thing with the clay pit you wanted that near the the cart uh, park here anyways that was the big thing was the cart park you wanted everything near the cart park uh, or they would not make it in time uh, and there was lots of people complaining and saying like hey uh, I only got like six houses built but here we are now with being able to build nine so obviously he improved either the speeding uh, the building speed anyways or the amount of stuff that can go on carts not sure exactly what but uh, either way awesome uh, this is great that we're actually able to definitely get all these houses built before winter uh, way before winter anyways as it is summer um, coming up on fall here soon uh, and we still have much much more to, time to build stuff uh, we might even be able to build a farm obviously I'm wondering if that might be the way to go. You could probably build a farm in time for harvest season. Although, you know, there's... You don't have a lot of people. So you'd have to put it to women only or something, and you might be able to get a farm built and then build the nine houses. Um, that'd be something uh, you'd have to test and play around with a bit, but I think uh, somebody could probably do it. Um, maybe I'll try that uh, in another video or something. But uh, either way, this is what we got so far. Uh, we've got our nine houses built. Um, I think this is a good uh, ending point for the video, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I'm going to be putting these out uh, every couple of days. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. So thanks, guys. And I'll catch you all in my next video.